Sup Chump's got an hour before bass lesson, so this is my rig rundown. This guitar is in seen better days. It's uh, missing the B string, and it's also just, it's alright. And I, I totally got it because I'm a huge Kurt Cobain fanboy and no other reason. It uh, would be in dad gad, except for the aforementioned missing string. This bass is the first ever legit instrument I had. I think it's a little bit ugly personally. It's got like stickers all over the back though. I actually like those. And it's also got some uh this stupid uh garbage on the back. It says raw power if you can't tell. Uh it's okay, and uh it's also detuned to drop D because standard tuning is for pussies. I'm a pussy. <laughs> This guitar is incredibly old and janky. It's actually my grandmother's, and it's from the 60s, and it uh, has two strings missing that I've not bothered to replace, and one of the strings I can't really replace anyway because the head on this tuning peg is just gone, so it's impossible to turn. And uh, it's at a really weird tuning. I've got this, like, C, E... No, wait. Shoot. C, G, B, E. It's kind of cool. I always say I'm going to use this keyboard for things, and then I don't. So, uh, it's whatever. This amp is okay, and that's about it. It's where all my picks go, and it has the most minimal of controls. This amp is also okay, but it's tiny. So that. Not pictured. The acoustic amp, which I never use anyway, and is currently under my bed after my brother took the back plate off to use as a pedal board turning the thing's already non-zero chance of electrocuting me into a substantially higher chance. Old phone, which I use as a musical instrument sometimes. Screwdriver, glass bottle, drumstick, and slide, all of which operate for the same purpose, pretty much. Guitar mutilation. Also, there's this thing, which is uh, a box with a contact mic in it and guitar strings stuck through the top, and I, uh, I broke it, as you can see, from repeatedly hammering on the bass strings that are on it. Tuner with almost dead batteries. $40 piece of junk interface, but it works. Microphone. Nothing more needs to be said. Badass fingerless gloves. Also tape and scissors to cut the tape, because electrical tape is really hard to just tear with your hands. The helm. DD7. I use it as a looper. Rat. I use it as an overdrive, usually with the dirt turned down way lower. It's basically just a preamp at this point because it makes things sound nicer. Digitech Death Metal needs no explanation. Is trash, but is pleasant, loud, distorted trash. Bass Synthwah does glitchy fun things. Also, it's a synth pedal, which I don't have really anything else that does that, so it does the job. Bass Big Muff. First ever pedal. Honestly, not that great. Not currently in use. Bass EQ, which uh, is mostly used for doing weird things. Turn up the treble really high, noise rock. Turn up the low frequencies real high. Chromatic Bastard's noise box sound is actually just the highs and lows bumped all the way and a little bit of boost on here too. And then the middle frequencies just kind of stay where they are. Kind of sucks, but it is an analog delay, so it has that going for it. Old, bent, beaten to death, but it kind of works, except I uh, ran out of rosin for it. Assorted instructional devices for the aforementioned pedals. This thing kind of sucks and is glitchy. It's uh, not necessarily so fun to work with, but it's got too many effects in it for me to really get rid of, because I'd be cutting out a lot of potential things I could use if I got rid of it. Contact mic biscuit tin number one. Contact mic biscuit tin number two plus lid from number one. Probably dangerous piece of broken plastic. Fresh contact mic for when one of its cheap Chinese brothers bites the dust. Also has this incredibly misspelled package on the back. For traditional instrumenter, can be used as a good quality sound output. It is better than normal recording studio, and it is the best choice for DIY CD of players. As if we couldn't already tell. Cables. Cables. 
So many goddamn cables. More cables. Even more cables, plus another contact mic. More tape. I use more tape than your average musician probably does, and not in the, like, cool reel-to-reel -reel way, either. Bag for a guitar that is now broken. Up close and personal capo. I use it on the acoustic guitar and also especially on the old acoustic guitar to mess with its weird tuning. The only reason this garage is usable is a space. Base case, base case, base case, base case. <laughs> and basically there you go, that's all of it. What more do you want? Better lighting? No. No, you don't get that.